welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariel. For those who are new here, I do beauty tutorials, reviews, as well as fashion videos and lifestyle vlogs. So today I'm gonna do a video on essential shoes for women in their 30s. <laughs> so this is my take on the types of shoes I feel like every woman, once you hit that, 30-ish range should have in their closet to complete any outfit um, for any occasion. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into it. So the first style of shoe that I wanna talk about is a flat, an essential flat. I feel like every woman in their 30s should own at least a pair or two of flats. Um, the type of flat I feel like is completely up to you for what you like in your lifestyle. Flats can be inclusive of penny loafers or any type of loafer, a ballerina shoe possibly, and even a sandal. So me personally, I don't own a ballerina shoe or a loafer. <laughs> I live in a very hot state where it stays hot pretty much year round. So my flats basically consist of sandals and sneakers. So I'm gonna show y'all a few pair of sandals that I like to wear to complete my outfits on days that I need a flat. So this first pair of shoes that I'm showing you guys is just a black leather pair of sandals. It's sort of a, a flip-flop type style. I did purchase these from Target one of those days where I was out shopping and my feet got to hurting and I had to just pop into Target and buy these. I think they were around 30 bucks or so. Um, I like Target sandals just because it's a good quality leather and they're very inexpensive and usually they're so cute. Um, I can wear this sandal with pretty much anything that I own and it go. Just the style of it is just um, very timely and classic so that's why I ended up picking this style of shoe so yeah this next sandal that I want to show you guys is a rhinestone sandal from the brand INC I picked these up from Macy's I think last summer um, it sort of has like the go between the toe type situation there it's not completely flat if you look from the side it has like a very mini mini wedge style to it but I still consider them flats because it's really not much of a heel because of the style of this shoe I'm able to dress up or dress down outfits so even when I wear slacks to the office or a skirt or even if I'm wearing a denim dress on the weekends this flat would be perfect the last sandal that I'm showing you guys is just a blinged out sandal this sandal is from Steve Madden and I purchased them from Dillard's I really really love this sandal because it goes with everything as well the fact that it's rhinestone it serves almost like black it can go with anything this is another flat that I can wear with slacks to the office um, once again I'm in Houston which is a little bit more of a laid back city <laughs> and um, it's super hot here for the most part so I mean I can wear this with my dresses if I need to if I'm showing a house and I need a flat that still delivers a bit of professionalism I actually purchased this for vacation so I can also wear this with a swimsuit and so yeah this is like one of those essential flats that I love to you know keep close so yeah those are a few flats to get, sort of give you an idea of you know what you can have in your wardrobe that works for you but like I said it can be inclusive of loafers ballerina slippers whatever flats you like these are just the ones that I I wear and I feel like every woman needs some sort of flat. The next style of shoe that I wanted to show you guys are the single sole sandal. Um, this sandal typically has a heel to it. Now the size or the height of the heel completely depends on you. Um, they sell single sole sandals anywhere from like an inch and a half on up, up to about six inches or so. I usually try to stick around the three to five inch <laughs> heel. That's my go-to, my favorite. So the first style of shoe that I wanted to show you guys is is the clear heel y'all now these have been super popular for about the past five years and I don't see them going out of style anytime soon 
this heel I did pick up from Lily's Closet. I'm not sure if she still has them in stock. If she does, I'll definitely put the link down in the description box. But this is a heel that has a little bit of a chunkier heel to it. It's about three inches or three and a half inches tall. And I love it. It goes with everything. You can dress them up or down by wearing them with the jeans. You can also wear them with nicer dresses. And if you just feel like you have an outfit that you don't know what shoe to put with it, you can never go wrong with the clear heel. The next shoe that I wanna show you guys is this silver Tom Ford single sole sandal. Now this is a little bit on the pricier side, but I absolutely love this shoe and it has comfort to it, which I was really pleasantly surprised by. So this heel is about four inches to five inches tall. It does have the key lock, the little lock and key on the side that showed like that signature Tom Ford look. The silver color makes it easy to pay with mostly anything in your closet and the fact that it's that soft leather I really love that makes the shoe a little bit more durable than like a canvas style so I do like to steer towards more of the leather than anything because I like to keep my shoes for a while so that's another thing to keep in mind you guys when buying shoes especially if you're gonna spend a little bit of coin on it um, leather may be the way to go just because it typically holds up a little longer and the threads don't come out as much as like a canvas style. This last pair of single sole sandals, in a sense, <laughs> it's a spin on a single sole sandal. This is a YSL sandal that I absolutely love. This heel is about four inches tall and I love this shoe. It's comfortable as well, so that's a good thing. Um, it doesn't have that typical strap across the toe, but I wanted to throw a wild card in there for you guys because it doesn't always, the sandal doesn't always have to have a strap across the toe. This sort of has the YSL emblem going up the front of the shoe which I feel like is so sexy I love the shoe I love the color that it has like that brass goldish um, hardware on the front of it along with the black leather which like I just said makes the shoe a little bit more durable which I love when I'm spending a little extra money on a shoe so yeah if you have any type of heel similar to this doesn't have to be YSL that's like black leather or black with gold on it or any color that you want I just feel like the style of the shoe itself will just be a great addition to your shoe collection and offer you some cool options. The next stylish shoe that we're gonna talk about is a white sneaker, just a plain white sneaker. I feel like a white sneaker should be a staple in every woman's closet, not even over the age of 30, but it's just something to jazz up an outfit as far as make it look cooler. For instance, if you're wearing a skirt or a dress, sometimes you can tone it down or give it more of a fresh look with a white pair of sneakers. You can also wear white sneakers with you know, joggers, shorts, denim, anything, like it's endless. Um, this is the white Air Force One that has sort of a platform to it that I love. Air Forces usually run you like around $100, so you're not gonna break the bank. I take good care of mine. I've had this pair for going on two years. Can you believe it? <laughs> so they're not the cleanest, but they're not the dirtiest either. I'm also a fan of white Chuck Taylors. I really love those to pair with dresses and skirts as well. The next style of shoe that we're gonna talk about is pumps, you guys. Pumps is a must for every woman over 30s closet. It's an absolute must. A pump is just a very classic style of shoe that's been around since the beginning of women's shoes, pretty much. You can dress up any outfit. You can also get a very cute, casual look. And there's so many options with pumps as far as the heel range, colors, different styles, etc. Some pumps also come in a sling back style. I don't own any sling backs yet, but either one would be considered a pump style. So the first style of pumps that I wanted to show you guys is this black patent leather pump. This pump is from Jessica Simpson. I purchased them at Dillard's. So it was like the mid range price, not too expensive. I think they were around $100. I do own them in a nude patent leather as well. I love these pumps because they're very comfortable. I can wear them to work and don't have to worry about them getting too scuffed up or dirty when I'm showing houses just because of the price point. But I love them and it just gives me a professional look anytime I need a black pump. 
This next pump that I'm showing you guys is a little bit more of a high-end pump. This pump is by Christian Louboutin, has a much higher heel. This is the Kate pump. Louboutin also has a So Kate pump that has 120 mm height in a heel. This is actually the Kate style that's 100 mm, which is a little bit shorter and it made it so much easier for me to walk in. I love these shoes because when I wanna wear a style of pump and I'm not sure what color to wear or if the color will go that I had in my head, nude you can never go wrong with. Like I said, I also have a patent leather nude pump in Jessica Simpson as well that looks identical to the pump that I just had on and that one is literally a fraction of the price but any style of nude pump would be great for you to have in your closet. This next pump is one of my favorite pumps, you guys. This is a red patent leather pump from Jimmy Choo. The heel is super tall. It's about a five inch plus heel, which makes it a little bit hard to walk in. <laughs> Jimmy Choo doesn't really make pumps this tall anymore. This is like from a few seasons ago. So since then, they've been making their pumps a lot shorter. But I think this pump is super sexy. And anytime I wanna throw a pop of color to an outfit, you can never go wrong with red. This last pump that I wanted to show you guys is also by Christian Louboutin. This is the hot chick style of pump that they have, which I love. Um, when I originally saw the shoe, I wasn't gonna get it, but my friends and loved ones did convince me to, hey, step outside the box and get something different. So this is a white pump that has colorful um, puzzle pieces on it. So I think it's for autism. I do love this shoe because it has so many colors. I can pair it with almost anything. It's sort of that wild card that I wanted to show you guys, but you do need a colored pair of pumps in your shoe collection, ladies, for sure. Doesn't have to be red, doesn't have to be colorful, but any color, green, blue, purple, orange, I do encourage you guys to add one pair of pumps, at least that has some sort of color to it. So the last style of shoes that I'm gonna be showing you guys is boots. Y'all, boots is something that you definitely need in your collection, especially for the winter months. It just gives you a very stylish look when you can change your shoe to the season. So the first pair of boots that I wanted to show you guys are these over the knee stretchy boots. I did purchase these boots from Lily's Closet. This was a few years ago, but you can also get these shoes from, I wanna say like Pretty Little Things, Fashion Nova. A lot of the cheaper, online boutiques do have this style of boot it has a chunkier heel so they're super easy to walk in they're stretchy they go over the knee if you want to you can scrunch them down you can wear it with skirt dresses pull them over your pants it's just a very trendy and very cute style of boot that you can wear with pretty much anything this next boot I wanted to show you guys is a flat boot that's a micro suede material and this is from Ivanka Trump, believe it or not. So Ivanka Trump has a brand. I saw these on, I wanna say, hotelook.com. They were not too expensive. They were around the $100 range. I've been wearing these boots for about three or four seasons now. Um, so they have lasted. I have had them repaired since then. The bottom came up, but they're so comfortable. Um, there wasn't really any other issues with them. So I didn't feel bad for getting the bottom glued on them. But I love these boots. They're comfortable. You can dress them up or dress them down, wear it with denim or something a bit dressier. They're also appropriate for work. And you know, if you need a boot and want to be cute and dressed up, but want to be comfortable at the same time, I think a flat boot as well is needed for your wardrobe. And the last shoe that I'm showing you guys today is this rhinestone boot, you guys. So this is the wild card. Um, it doesn't have to be rhinestone, but I feel like every woman in their 30s needs some boot that's outside of the box, meaning something different not just a plain black boot some other color than black but you know I had to just really <laughs> zhuzh it up for you guys and show y'all something a little bit more out there so this is an ankle style of boot that's from Steve Madden I think this was about the $200 range super blingy um, this is definitely a dress up boot so they it can be worn with the jeans the last time I wore them out was like the office Christmas party which I had on with jeans and like an Oxford style white shirt 
um, with like blingy accessories and it was so cute because it was like more of a casual but dressy situation, the party I'm talking about. So yeah, you can um, wear these definitely with a skirt. I can really see these boots being cute with like the those slinky slip dresses or skirts too. So yeah, you can just have fun with it. So those are the shoes that I wanted to show you guys that are essential in my opinion for women in their 30s. Comment down below below and let me know the shoes you think are essential for women in their 30s. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoy creating it for you guys. If you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see y'all later.